Well, there's no point in watching NBA anymore. We can tell you who's going to win now because it's the Warriors. The Warriors have just signed Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant. So now their starting lineup consists of four superstars who could go to the Brooklyn Nets and make that team in the playoffs at least. But Stephen A. Smith said it better. I mean... In terms of building your legacy, Durant, I don't think this was the right move. But there is hope for his legacy because he signed a two-year, second year is a player option. Which basically means after the first year, he can opt out of his contract and go back into free agency. So, I think that was the right contract to sign no matter where you went. That, I do believe that. Even if it was the reference, like I, I would want a five-year deal, but... A better contract for him personally would be the two-year player, second-year player option. But do teams really have a chance of beating the Warriors? Is there any point in watching in the NBA anymore? Yes, there is a point. We also don't know how this chemistry is going to fit with the Warriors. What if Kevin Durant just shakes up their roster and nobody ends up liking it and it creates a rift with the superstar power of Seth Curry and Kevin Durant? Both are going to be trying to battle each other for an MVP. We don't know how that's going to shape out. I mean, for the rest of the NBA, they hope it shapes out terribly. While they both do very well, it doesn't provide them any team play and kind of diversifies the group and makes it like split into two separate groups, maybe. But on the other hand, it could work out extremely well for the Warriors' favor and make them an unstoppable team who shares the ball. They don't care who the about individual achievement, and they end up dominating the league, if not better than they did in the year before. I mean, that's always a possibility. Also, I know there's going to be a ton of Warrior fans and Warrior haters down in the comments. Don't start fighting. This is not the place for it. Go fight on, like, somebody else's channel. Go fight Chris Smoothie's channel. Thank you guys for watching. Speculate down in the comments. Does this help Kevin Durant's legacy, or does this hurt his legacy? Even if you win the championship. So put that down in the comments. And I'm going to be having a video later today, hopefully, that'll talk about the free agency signings of yesterday. And I uh, hope you watched that. Also, be sure to come back tomorrow for even more NBA free agency news. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.